Hey, welcome to John's Metal Dating Adventures. Here we are searching for history. We're on a different part of a farm that I usually do. I've not done it. There's a, an old ruin of a building that I'm going to tackle and some fields around it with footpaths. Uh, so let's just see what we're going to, type of history we're going to pull out here. Um, so I've not done it. Now the farmer says somebody else has been on it and done it. So we're going to find out now what this new Coltec 15 inch coil does for us. have a, another half penny this time it's it's uh, half ship apenny of uh, George the sixth this was 22 we've got it out So we're getting a few coins around here. Well, we can see the indentation, so it's somewhere down there. And there it is. Clean up, get some details later. There you go. Two. <laughs> We have two coins stuck together. Two Georgia fifths, one penny and half penny. Jolly good. Half penny of Victoria. Dessert spoon. Massive. So we've got the date on it. I think it's about 18th century. Brilliant. Well, that was 21. Uh, I think that's probably 19th century bu buckle, that. The usual one. Belt buckle. That's what that is. Haha, <laughs> an old pound coin. I've been there a while. Oh, pound coin. Oh, 21. Some sort of pendant. Pewter pendant. Probably uh, Victorian period, but certainly some design on that, so we need to check that out. Bit of old pottery's been down there a while. In this hole. I'm just going to dig out and see what is in this hole. I'll pay something good, a coin to verify it, but that's probably early 20th century. 20 Victorian uh, penny. 20 down there. 19. That's the fifth penny. Well, there's the coin. If you can just about see it there, don't know what it is. There, look. Oh. Oh, it's a florin. Oh, it's, it's Elizabeth II florin. Copper and nickel. It's not better silver. I think we got a Edward the Seventh half penny out of here. So we've got seventeen in here. What is it? Oh. Not what we want though. Hmm. Don't know what that is. 
Bus something. Bus bucket. Seventeen. That is one big valve. Massive. Copper bin. Oh, sorry, brass bin. Then we have the edge of a plate. Marked pottery. Edge of a plate, I think. Or a saucer, probably a plate. Yet again, I think it's early 20 says you know pattern, so it's plain stuff. Then we have another Victorian penny, half penny. Can't see the date. Let's see if we can find it. 18. Well, you can definitely verify a coin. And I think this Victorian, I'm not mistaken. Yep, Victorian penny. Well, there's the footpath we're looking for. Which probably leads, which probably leads all the way up that field somewhere. Thirty. Oh, it's a cat wheel penny. Oh, what do you know about that? Cat wheel penny. A bit of uh, fancy pottery. Glazed on one side. Just to know what the age of that one is. Bit you ain't got the full pot. Oh, it's a weight. It's a trading weight. See how well that is by checking its uh, information in this, inside it. It's only a little one. I'm on this footpath over here. And some sort of token, I think. Clean that up, show you later. 25 here. 25. So you can find it with a pinpointer. 25. A bit of pottery. 17th century pottery. Should have 17th, 18th century coins in theory. Well let's just see. Oh, I've got it out. It's out in a blob somewhere. Is it this blob? What's oh, in there? Aha! What's this then? Let's have a look. Oh. You can see the coin straight away look. It's the three pennies of Three pence. Uh, George the Sixth. Hey, 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 yes, silver. <laughs> Excellent. Ooh, Victoria. Yeah, brilliantly done. Absolutely super. We'll have a bit of that. <laughs> oh yes, and another. Silver bites of dust. We have a Victoria sixpence. Excellent do, excellent do. Keep coming in. We're looking for bigger, but that'll do for now. It's better than the three pences. This is a sixpence Victoria. 
Don't know what the date is, but I'll show you later.